Hello everyone, welcome back. We're shooting that 500 Smith & Wesson today. Um, I am shooting uh, basically reloads. These are 500 uh, special. Okay, basically I've powered these down. I'm trying to get this uh, so that it's a little bit more manageable. Basically when you shoot full size 500s, it feels like you're getting hit in the hand with a hammer. Um, I did this earlier with, um, with 13 grains of unique over a 440 grain bullet. Uh, it still felt like I was getting hit in the hand pretty hard, which I mean, you know, sometimes you want to do that. Sometimes you just, you know, you don't, you don't want, you, you know, you don't want uh, something to hit you that hard. Um, so basically, um, what I did is I have uh, ten grains of unique now. Okay, so I powered it down to ten grains of unique over uh, um, under a 440 grain bullet. This is the same amount of gunpowder that I use when I reload 44 Magnum. However, with the 44 Magnum, we're shooting a 240 grain bullet. This is 440, so it's like almost double in weight. Um, so uh, I have a rim set up there and a chronograph. Uh, let's put five shots down range of this big boy, and um, and let's see, uh, you know, what, what the type of uh, um, what, what type of energy we get out of it. I want to be about 10 feet back so that the, the muzzle doesn't interfere with your chronograph readings, the, the muzzle blast, I mean. There goes my rim. See if we can shoot it on the move. Okay, those are our five shots. Uh, the recoil is about where I want it. Okay, um, you know, it's stout, but um, kind of feels like a 44 Magnum. Um, so, so that's about where I want it. So that's probably where I'm gonna, you know, um, I'm, I'll probably make about 50 rounds now of this, um, uh, of this, of this um, recipe for, for the 500. So that's 10 grains of unique. Um, under a uh, 440 uh, grain uh, bullet. Hey, let me put the uh, pause the camera. I'll bring you guys in a little closer. Okay, so uh, basically we made a nice dent on the rim over here. Uh, no penetration. Um, usually, if I shoot the full 500 loads, I'll, I'll get easy penetration on that. Um, the uh, let's see what the chronograph told us. 787 Unique. So we got 787 to 7, uh, we'll call it 9, we'll call it 800. And an average of 793. So, we, so with the 440 grain bullet, uh, we have a... Uh, an average velocity of 793. Let's see what energy that is. 793 times 793 times 440 divided by 240. Okay, so we have an energy of 614. All right, and let's uh, do an energy, uh, a momentum calculation. Seven. 93 uh, times um, 440 divided by 7,000. Okay, we got a momentum of uh, basically 50. Okay, um, so this recall felt pretty good. Um, basically, the um, the, the energy on this is basically at the mid-level of a 44 Magnum. The reason why I needed to get something, um, you know, I, I wanted to get something that was a, a more manageable recoil because, you know, I want to be able to, for example, I want to check my zero on this, okay? This, this gun has adjustable sights. I want to be able to, you know, basically, you know, sit down, bench the gun, and comfortably, you know, do five and, you know, five-shot groups. 
and see if I need to adjust my sights at all, okay? So you're not going to do that if you're shooting, you know, full 500 loads because basically the gun is like you're feeling the recoil all the way up your arms and into, into your palm of your hand. So, so it's very useful to also be able to um, power down these loads so you can do some accuracy testing and basically, you know, um, adjust your, your, your sights as you need to, okay? Uh, so what we have here that works pretty good is a... Uh, uh, um, a 440 grain bullet which I've cast myself um, over um, over 10 grains of unique um, the unique is an awesome powder because it's, it's very versatile uh, you're not going to get a, a printed recipe for the 500 basically I've worked this up from the um, from, from the 44 magnum loads okay um, as far as these bullets I'm basically you buy a one of these things, you melt the lead, pour it in, you know, basically you drop this into a wet towel. Okay, that's how that's how I make these bullets. Um, and then what you want to do is basically you need to run these through a die to resize them because these are not all going to come out perfect, the perfect diameter. Um, and, um, you know, when I tried to, before I got the die to run these through, what happened is when I would try to put them in these cases, um, they were a little bit too big and basically the they would swell up over the, the case would swell up over the book and it would not go into the into the, into the into the chambers so something was wrong I researched it and I found that okay I gotta resize these bullets um, and the other thing that you need to do is once the bullet goes in uh, for this caliber you also need to get the crimp I usually don't need to use a crimp for like my 44 magnums my 357s my 38s you know the uh, the, the seating die usually acts as a good crimp as well uh, but for this I found that I really they really weren't fitting into the chambers but once I use the crimping die that's recommended uh, basically they're all going in real nice um, so it, it takes a little work hopefully the tips that I'm giving you guys you know if you're interested in, in reloading 500 specials uh, will help you will help you get there um, so that's what we have here we have 10 grains of unique with a 440 uh, grain bullet if um, if you're using the factory uh, bullets um, I think it's 385 grain bullets. Uh, usually, I load the last time I, lo I loaded those, I loaded those with 15 grains, and those came out pretty good, not too heavy. You could certainly bring that back to about, uh, um, you know, uh, bring it down to let's say 12 grains of unique, uh, and that will work fine. And you can use that to, you know, basically adjust the sights on the gun and zero it in and make sure that you're hitting where you want to hit. Uh, so uh, there are my thoughts on that. If you have any comments, please post them. Any feedback, I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, if not, a member, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next time.